Awesome. So we're here at the Boogie Board booth here at CES 2015, and uh, who are you? That's right. I'm Albert Green. I'm the CEO of Kent Displays. Uh, we make the Boogie Board LCD e-writer. So the Boogie Board is already famous, right? It, it is. Uh, we've sold millions of them, so I can just give you... It's all about the writing. Go Boogie Board. And so it feels... We're, we, we, we're really about the writing experience. This thing writes and feels exactly like paper. If you can see, it sort of glides. It's like there's no delay, there's no parallax. It feels exactly like paper. It's got a we, it's a best in class writing writing experience. That's really the whole idea behind the company. It's perhaps even better than paper. It is, you know, it's better than paper because I write and instead of sitting there trying to erase or throwing it away, I can just push a button and it erases. So it's a write and erase product. And you're actually kind of like pushing the writing to the device instead of adding ink to a paper. It's That's kind right. Of, That's right. It looks like bit, it's adding ink. It's a little bit better than paper, no? It's better than paper, you know? And it's also, it's sustainable. I don't have to throw it away after I use a scrap of paper. There's no, like, trees... Uh, involved. That's right. No trees. You don't have to cut down a tree, save a tree, use a boogie board, save a tree. Better the paper. And uh, what? how does it work? Uh, it wor it's an LCD technology. It's a reflective display. And the way this works is that what's really important is is it takes no energy, to n no power to write. It takes no power for the image to be, for it to be reflected. It only takes power to erase it. And so there's a battery here, but and it's it's a it's a small coin cell, and that cell that it's really it's interchangeable, but you really never have to change it because it really lasts. It lasts for fifty thousand erases. So that's, that's a like, few. That's like ten years. Ten years of using how much? Oh, if you use it, you know, for oh, every day. Moves, but, oh yeah, multiple times per day. It lasts effectively the life of the product. So. How can so little power erase a whole screen? What's so, going on in there? So what it is is, is basically you have you have a a uh, it's a plastic display, so it's a it's a thin plastic LCD display, and it's reflective. So the only time it takes power is when you the only time it takes power is so now that now that I have a reflecting area where this line is, I apply power only to rearrange the molecules in a certain fashion so that it's not reflective. And that takes only a very small amount of power. Molecules. Molecules, right. This is nanoengineering at its core. So wh where did you invent this? Uh, this was inv this is a, a cholesteric liquid crystal display technology. Um, cholesterics have been around for a little while. We do uh, a number of different kinds of cholesteric displays. Uh, but this is a specific application that really involves writing. And, and, and what, what happens is that when you, when you apply a small amount of pressure, it can be with, your, with a stylus, it can be with, a fing, with your fingernail, anything that applies pressure, it essentially moves the molecules out of the way, and then when you push the button to erase, those molecules go back into their original It's one blink. That's right. It's one flash. And uh, so Kent displays, it comes out of the Kent... Uh... That's right. We're, we're located in Kent, Ohio, um, and uh, that's where we get the name Kent Displays. Is it a spin-out of a university? It's actually a spin-out of, um, of Kent State University. So uh, it was invented and then... Uh, the, the, the basic cholesteric liquid crystal technology was invented at Kent State University. Um, we uh, we spun out many, many years ago from the, from the university and, and all the patents and so on associated with this boogie board, are really those are really uh, patents from, from Kent State. So what's the vision? Where do you want to see this? So, we're, we're about paper. Anywhere you see a scrap of paper, that's where we, we envision our boogie boards. Um, and so what we do is we, if you look over here, if you want to go to the booth a little bit, um, we have a variety of different products. Um, what is this one? This is called the Boogie Board Original. This is an example of a product. Um, over here, uh, this is this is a, the, the product sim very similar to what I have. This is uh, called the Jot 8.5. Uh, there's another product over there called the Jot 4.5. It's sort of the baby companion to that. And then over there, you can look at the orange product. That's a little bit more sophisticated. That's that's actually uh, the, the, the the sink boogie board sink. Uh, which one is, sink. Which one is this connected? This one. So if you look at this, um, yeah. so basically, this is a little bit more than just write and erase. So in this version, while I, when I write. I'm basically I'm writing it. And it's 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 it. Um, I I can write here, and it's actually a Bluetooth connection 
to uh, this is a tablet here, but I can I can also so it's like instant. It's it's instant. That's is right. Is it Bluetooth? It's a Bluetooth connection. 4.0 or uh, not not exactly certain. Yeah. Uh, but the most important thing is not so much the connection here. It's just that when I write, I can either erase it or I can save it. And so I can write it. I can hit save. Okay, so now it saves the information internally, and then it'll also send it wirelessly via Bluetooth to my app. And in a second here, you'll see that come up right here. So there it is. It says save. So now all of my notes, all of my notes are all, everything that I write, and these are pretty pretty rough notes. But all of my all of my notes are not in a notebook in some attic somewhere, but they're on my, they're on my, no, you have to write with it. Yeah. They're, they're on my, on my device. And in, on my phone, I have an app, okay, the Boogie Board app, and, and all of my notes, all of my notes are in my phone. So I don't have to go digging around for some, for some, uh, note, uh, no notebook, you know, in some file cabinet. It's right here on my phone. So you combine uh, you combine the Ken display with a digitizer. That's right. In this case, we we, com we combine our we call it a reflex display, but our writing surface. In fact, why don't you come over and see some of the writing surface? So you can see some examples of some of the writing surfaces that we have. First of all, you can notice it doesn't have to be square. Right? It could be any shape, and I'll show you an example of one if you, in, in, in a minute, uh, and then we'll come back to this. But it does; it could be any any shape, and 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 they all work. Yeah, and you can notice it's not connected to any power, so it doesn't require any power. To, zero power. Zero power. Zero power. Only to erase. So you connect some device to erase. Yeah, you connect power. You just have to put power on it, and that's what those things have. They have power, but it doesn't, doesn't need any power at all. Um, so, so to give you an example, let me show you. Let me go around here. This is a new product called Plan. And so this is a product coming out this year. Um, and Plan Trace is kind of a little bit of a different take. Um, so this is a so um, um, this is like a translucent boogie board. You can see that. Yeah. You can kind of see through it. So so imagine handing this to a kid. And so so if I can sit here and if you get in close. I can sit here and I can trace my finger, my fingers, or you know, or or if I'm if I was really a great artist, so I, I write on it, I can erase it. What you'll see a kid do if you hand this to a kid, they'll put it up here, and they'll they'll put it up to your face, and they'll start to draw your face. Wow, uh, that's not a really great. So yeah, draw your face, and so kids will go up there, and I'll show you that. This is great training for our cartoonists. Like some, yeah, like something like this. Okay, so now this is a trace, uh, 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 an example of something what a kid might get. So I go like that, erase, and I'm going to trace this where I'm not a very good artist, so I'm going to trace this, this whale on. So this is a translucent reflex display. So how can it be translucent? Well, trans it's, so it's, it's partially reflective. It's about it's stuff we do in the technology. So look at that. So I've just used this to, to trace it. Now that's a, fun, that's a fun application, but imagine a kid in school. He's trying to learn how to write or do numbers or whatever, so I'm going to write, I'm going to use this to trace. So, some folks have called this, have called this Magnadoodle Redefine. We call ourselves Writing Redefine. What's going to be the retail price for that one? Uh, this will be about $30 in the retail. In retail. That means all every kid that needs to get one. Any kid can get something like that. Everyone. Yeah, yeah, that's right. You know, this is an example. If you go over and you can see what, what people are doing, you know, a lot of times what you'll see is you'll see someone stand behind this and they'll trace and they'll get their face traced. And that's why there's, you can see sort of a face here. So, so stand behind it. All right. Trace the face. Yeah. All right. So uh, it's not a very, it's not too expensive to your technology. For the for the, the single write and erase versions, those go from typically fifteen to thirty dollars in, in retail in the U.S. Uh, the, the, the product that I showed you with all the save pieces, a little bit more expensive. That goes for about hundred dollars in the U.S. Let's go back over here. Let me show you. Uh, ask what is the vision and where we want to go. We're about paper. We want 
We want to be everywhere. Everywhere we're papering. Here's some examples. So, yeah. An example of a boogie board where basically this is a, a an iPhone 6 case. Uh, this is a partner company called Tegware that makes this. Uh, and you would have your phone on this side. Uh, and you have a boogie board on the other side, and so it's that scrap of paper that you're always looking for. Uh, and this is an example of where you're, you know, you're always looking for that piece of paper that you can that you can write on. And so, paper everywhere. Yeah. So, how big is this part? So, uh, it's that's thin. The, yeah, it's thin. This is the book. This is the boogie board. And I want you to lift and feel how heavy it is. It's really heavy. <laughs> it's like paper. It's featherweight. It's like paper. So in theory, it could be the back cover of phones. That's right. It could be the back cover of phones. It could be. It could be. It could be the back cover of a phone. It could be on a laptop. So imagine a, a writing surface where it's on it's 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 on the back cover of your of your laptop or on your tablet or an accessory or in your refrigerator on your refrigerator or or on a, in a school desk embedded into a school desk wherever you use a piece of paper we're thin lightweight inexpensive doesn't take any power it's wherever you're looking for that scrap of paper that's where a boogie board is. So uh, the hardware makers around the world. In China, anywhere, should just contact you and get this integrated and in their device. They already are. They already are, and that's what we're really excited. It's it's, it's, a, it's it's one of the most important growth areas for the company is the business associated with where we sell essentially the writing surface and some and some proprietary electronics, and that partner company takes that writing surface and integrates it into something else, such as what you've seen here, where it's been used to integrate into an accessory for a phone, in this case a phone case. And uh, the digitizer, can you add that to a phone and a That's tablet right. too? That's right, you can do both. We have we have two versions. This version is, is, a, is doesn't have a digitizer and, 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 and all the same features, but you can easily have one that does. You can have a digitizer and it would, and so when you when if it's on your refrigerator, it could be tied into your Wi-Fi network at at, at, at at home. So you would you would write a list or something like that, and I might have an app on a phone. Everyone has an app on the phone, so I write a list, and 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 my wife automatically just goes to her phone into the app, and she sees the list right away wherever she is. So if a hardware maker wants to integrate this, how how difficult is it? It's they just send you, they contact you. What happens then? They, they contact us. We have an engineering activity that's associated with. That. Uh, we give them some amount of assistance and training and teaching them how to use it. But we've done it enough times it's relatively straightforward. And so any size they want, uh, the, with the digitizer you can get it, help them to get it done? Yes, we can help them get it done. And uh, sh shipping can happen quickly. Time That's to market right. is, is fast. Time to market is as fast as they can move. We can make these things very fast. So really the, the save function is a, is a pretty big uh, opportunity here. Yeah, it is. I mean, I mean, you know, there there are two basic uses for our product. I mean, the screen of boogie boards I kind of describe as a, as a piece of paper. You know, it's where you're looking for to jot a quick note, a list, a phone number, an email address. It's information that I take. I use that information. That information becomes obsolete, and instead of throwing away the piece of paper, I just push a button to erase it and I reuse it. So that's one application. The other application is more sophisticated. It's really where you want to have a notebook, and that's kind of where this this sync product, where I write a page, I save it, I write another page, I save it, then I recall it later as I need to on my portable device that I have with me all the time. And one of the fundamental parts of a, of, of a, of a product like this, of, of, a, of a, what we call the sync with the save, is that you need to have a digitizer. And, and Kent Displays, um, you know, we, we are a, a leader in the development, certainly of our boogie boards, um, though we don't make the digitizer ourselves, we are closely working with a number of different digitizer companies uh, to, to, to bring best-in-class performance, also at an attractive price, That's because we understand certainly the, sense, the price sensitivity of these sort of save products, and what we want to do is bring those prices down so they become more and more attractive uh, in, the, in, the, in the marketplace. We, we do a lot of retail products, but also for our partners, our partners that want to take it and make 
uh, an accessory or something like that, uh, that that also has a save feature, we want to be able to help them get very inexpensive digitizers. So that's an area that we're very actively working in. Because you want to have the, the digitized, the saved version nearly or exactly the same as the one you scribbled, right? Well, that's right. And, and, and like, for example, this digitizer is, 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 is pressure sensitive. So if I press hard, you're going to see a thicker line. If I press lighter, you're going to see a thinner line. Do you get exactly this? You do. Exactly. Yeah, you do. You do. Like, it, it looks... You do. It looks exactly All, all like the, the thinness and everything. Is that... Uh, yeah. All the digi different digitizers can do that? Or there's, like, it, it, some... We have to do, what we have to end up doing is we, we match the digitizer performance with the, with the, 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 the writing surface performance. And, and, and that's why how they look the same. Uh, what? So it, the the color is a little bit uh, greenish, right? That's right. Is there any different colors you can do? We do, we do, and, and we, we engineer the colors uh, to some extent. Um, you know, the fact of the matter is that that the, the boogie board writing experience, um, part of our branding, our our our, our sort of uh, you know out of the box thinking, is providing a different color. It's writing on black as opposed to writing on, on white. I mean, that's one of Is it the possible for the writing to be more white? Uh, yes, yes. We certainly Can it be that. totally white? Yeah, we've done that, uh, and, and this, is, this is the one that we've chosen for now. So for how do you choose a color? Uh, it's a whole combination of, of, of the materials that we use, the liquid crystals that we use, the substrates. There's a whole bunch of things that are, that are, that are uh, a part of, of the color selection. But, but the fact of the matter is, you know, what we really feature is a writing experience that's just like paper, and 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 part of our branding is, is sort of this off green uh, color uh, on a black background. We're proud of it; it works really well, and that's what people think of when they think of book boogie boards. And it's great sunlight re readable. It's great in sunlight. It's a reflective display, so reflective displays work best in sunlight. The brighter it is, the brighter we look. So um, education should education be a big market, market right? Market you know, you talk to a kid and, 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 and they love our project. High school, college students, they really like this sort of stuff, this kind of notebook replacement. Uh, and then the younger group, um, you know, sort of the three, age three to five and six, you know, K through three, if you go to a, a, a kindergarten or first grade classroom, you'll see the room is filled with whiteboards. And the teachers hate the whiteboards because they're really messy and you can't find the, the, the dry erase marker. And if you have it, it's probably dried out because the kid didn't put the cap on. And and the, the teachers and the kids love using the boogie board. That's what they use the whiteboards to practice addition, subtraction, writing, and stuff like, stuff like that. And the kids love using a boogie board instead. In fact, we donate products at times to the schools, and it's just magical to watch kids play or use a boogie board for, for a learning tool. And, and I don't know if you over there, the, the play and trace. That's kind of a fun way to, to, that you can, we call it a creativity tool. Can you, can you make it the size of a whiteboard in the classroom? We can. It's not a product that we're currently planning to bring to market. We certainly have made prototypes of that You'd, never, you'd need a bigger digitizer pen for it to be visible to the back of the class, no? There's a number of different ways that you could do that. Um, and we have a number of different strategies that I wouldn't go into in detail here. But, but um, you know, um, certainly the request for making very large boogie boards has been made. And at some point we might, we might do something in that space.